Perfect. So auto repro is basically used for rigging humanoid and then creators in Blender. But over the past few days, I've been experimenting and then I realized I can use it to rig basically anything in the software. So I rigged this bug and then I would like to walk you through how I did that. So to start with, I added the empty amateur option in the rig section of Autoric Pro. And then I clicked on add limbs, extended it and chose the chain bendy bones. And I aligned it to the height of the straps of the bag. Now, bear in mind, before I did anything else, I selected the bones and then I went into the limb options for the chain. And then I increased the bendy bones count and then the bendy bone segments. And then most importantly, the side, I changed it from middle to left because I knew I would be duplicating and mirroring to the other side. So I just made this easier for me. Right. So after this, I proceeded to align the bones to where you're supposed to be on the back strap. So that is what I'm doing currently. Then I forgot, so I then on snapping right here and then I continue to align it to the straps of the back. So once I was pleased with how it looks, I selected the whole chain of the straps and then duplicate mirror in the Autoric Pro option. I could have symmetrized it but then this is Autoric Pro, you have to play with the rules, you can't break the rules specifically on some things. Yes. So after I was done, I went back into the Arlem options and then I chose the head. So I also disabled the facial and then the scowl option is in the limb option for the head and then I aligned it to the back. So that is what I'm doing currently. Right, so once I was pleased, I just clicked on mask to rig. Then I got a generated rig for myself. From here, I bind the back to the bonus. Then out of the box you won't get perfect deformation so I went in and then did a bit of cleanups with the weight painting. Yeah, so after the weight painting was done, I had to fix some parenting issues with the straps. So I selected all the bones on the straps and then my clear parent for all of them. Now the reason being, I wanted to have the flexibility of moving each controller by itself and not having it affected by a parent on the straps. Now this will come in handy later when I'm trying to animate a character wearing a school bag. So that's basically it. A simple bag rig that is functional and then you can use for your animations. So using this approach you can rig basically anything in Autorig Pro. In the future I'll be making more tutorials on how to use Autorig Pro to rig other objects. Thanks for watching.